Hello everyone. Good afternoon. I see Lion Heart is here. Hi, Lion Heart. Hello. Okay, so Lion Heart, before I begin today's lesson, I think uh, we should just wait for just a few seconds and wait and see maybe someone might join us, maybe more people are still trying to connect. So I think we should wait just 10 seconds. Ten seconds. Okay, so it seems like, um, I only have Lion Hearts. Lion Hearts, welcome and thank you for joining today's lesson. I hope you enjoy. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. So um, in today's lesson, in today's lesson, and remember for these lessons, you can always go to YouTube. After every session, the lesson is posted on YouTube. So for those who are not present at the moment, we'll join or we'll view um, the lesson on YouTube. Yes, yeah, so my name is Izal Sitole, the cat teacher. Yes, and um, in today's lesson, we will look at paragraphs so paragraphs paragraphs way on word processor so microsoft word we will talk about how to format how to change how to make changes in your microsoft word okay so lion hat i want to see like can we please share share just share what do you know about the Word document? What do you know? Skills that you have with regards to the Word document. Do you know how to, how to edit, to design, um, to type in? I mean, yes, do you know how to use the Word document? Do you know how to use the Microsoft Word, sorry? Do you know how to use a Microsoft um, Word. Do you know how to edit, how to type in the Microsoft Word? All right, so today we'll, the lesson, we, in this lesson, sorry, in this lesson, we are creating a Word document. So today we are focusing on creating a Word document. You will need to consider these factors. Okay, paragraph and line spacing. And the alignment, alignment of text in a Word document. So paragraph and line spacing, we will focus on those. The activity, activity will be a guided activity. I'll show you how to use, how to space and align. A, okay, how to space and align in a text document. Okay, the word document. Now, but before we get into the lesson, before we go into more details of the lesson, we should talk about the test. So on the 30th of July, 2020, we have a test. The test will, so the test will, uh, will be based on 
the work that you, you have learned, <coughs> excuse me, will be based on the work that you have learned in term one and term two. So term one and term two. So I will test, I want to see how, um, whether you guys understood what you have learned in term one and what we have learned in term two. So the test will be based on those terms. But uh, as from today until the 30th of July, I will show you guys how we, we will uh, revise on the work that we have, de we have done in term one and term two. So for revision, let's begin here. Okay, so the special characters. Lionheart, can you please open a Word document? A Word document is your computer. Please open a Word document. Word can be empty or Empty, I see Tolo. Tolo is also here. Thank you so much, Tolo, for joining. Um, please, guys, open a Word document, a new Word document. Open. After you have opened the Word document, just type in like anything, just anything. I want you to create create a word document, maybe write something about yourself, what you did today, how are you feeling, anything. All right, so. Here is my Here's my word document. Okay, so I have information already on my word document, but now I want us to practice how to use the text. I um, mean, the special. Uh, the special characters. Okay, so our special characters are the enter, backspace, spacebar tab and delete. So I want to see if you know how to use these characters. I know you should know that by now, this is just for revision. All right, so now, okay. Okay, the special, the special characters. All right, have you opened the, your Word document? Have you opened your Word document, your new Word document? Are you typing? Just type in quickly anything. When you are done, let me know. Don't have to type the whole paragraph, just two lines or one line. Now, with our special characters, all right? We have enter. Enter, the key enter. We have key enter, which we use to create a new paragraph. So this was, this is my last paragraph we have i have two paragraphs and then this is my second paragraph now if i want to create a new paragraph or move to the next paragraph i want to create a new paragraph so if i press the key enter on my keyboard enter it takes me to the next paragraph so we use enter to to create a new paragraph right so, 
the, key, the enter key applies paragraph spacing between paragraphs. So when I created this space between these two paragraphs, these two paragraphs, sorry, I pressed enter. So enter is used to create um, spacing between paragraphs. So now I will move to my second paragraph. I can, okay, can type in any information, just that now I do not have anything to, okay. So for my next paragraph, if I want to type in uh, some information, I can just type or paste, simply paste for now. So this, this is my third paragraph. Please never mind the fact that I copied uh, this information, the information from the second paragraph. But then I want to show you how to create paragraphs. So this is my third paragraph. If I want to move to my fourth paragraph, I'll do the same, press up the enter key. Now we are done with the enter key. Guys, remember we have our chats. If you have anything to say, you have a question, please feel free. All right. Okay. So our next uh, special character is the space bar. Space bar. Remember we use enter to create paragraph. I mean, sorry, to create a new paragraph. If I want to create a new paragraph here, yeah, I'll press A enter uh, key on my keyboard all right now the space bar special character when and why do we use the special bar i mean sorry the space bar the space bar space bar creates horizontal space between words so this is Um, so space bar is used to create horizontal space between weights. So this space is used, like you can see on this paragraph, the space between weights. So space bar was used to create a horizontal space between weights. So here, through the ages, people have Okay, if I want to create space, I'll, spa I'll, sorry, I'll press the space bar. So the space bar must be pressed only once. Must be pressed only once. Okay. Now, next we have tab. Tab. We are done with our space bar. I mean our space bar, sorry, space and enter. Now we want to use delete. Okay, now let's move to backspace before we use the key delete. Backspace, backspace. Please locate the backspace key on your keyboard. Backspace. Backspace. Okay, backspace. Now I'm done typing, yeah. but I feel like I have made a mistake. I need to go and correct that mistakes. Example, like the word examples. I was not supposed to type in this word. What do I do? I can highlight the word, highlight the word that I want to remove and then press backspace. So backspace deletes the typed character or characters to the left of the blinking cursor. Right now, I, let me not highlight the whole word, but remove the word word by word. Okay, so if I want to remove, I want to delete the type character, right? I want to delete the type character. I can delete 
I want to delete following. I just press the back space. So take me to the back. It removes the typed character to the left. So it, it is removing everything to the left of the linking uh, cursor. Right now, Backspace and delete. Backspace and delete. Backspace and delete are for removing. They both use for removing. But now, please take note. So enter, we said we are we used enter to create a new paragraph. Okay, then backspace to delete, delete the type characters, delete the type character to the left of the blinking cursor. Second one, we now focusing on the key delete. Backspace, we use this to delete um, the type character to the left. The space, I mean, the delete key is also used for deleting. But now the delete key, delete, when we press delete, it removes the character to its right. Now with backspace, we went to the back, we deleted to the left of the blinking cursor. But now let's look at the delete tab, delete key, sorry. With delete, delete, deletes everything or it removes the character to its right. So it removes the characters from the right hand side. So it removes characters to its right. Okay. Then our last one is tab. Now, just um, on your Word document, on your Word document, just um, click next to any word on your Word document, anywhere in your Word document, uh, where you have uh, text, yeah. then press the button, tap, tap, tap on your keyboard. So here is my cursor, my cursor, then I press tap. Can you see? Can you see that my information is moving to the right hand side. So tab is used to create horizontal space. If I want to create horizontal space, yeah, I can press tab, tab to move these letters, to move this heading. So if I press on tab, tab, it moves the words, it creates space horizontally, it creates horizontal space between words. Let's try to use tab. Yeah, tab, can you see? It creates horizontal space between words. All right. So, um, with the special characters, I think we now all have an idea of how to create space in your web document, how to delete, how to, yes, how to delete, how to enter a new, how to create a new paragraph. Okay, so I thought maybe it's important for me to look at those first before I move forward. Now, can you please tell me what do you want to know from today's topic with regards to word, with regards to creating or editing Word documents. What do you want to know?
All right, so like I have said, when you create your document and change the format of the document, when you are trying to create a Word document or you're changing the format of the Word document, of the document, sorry, you will need to consider factors such as paragraph and line spacing, alignment and okay, but the borders and shading are not for now. All right, so today we are focusing on how to create space uh, in paragraphs, in lines, and also how to align, um, how alignment works in the Word document. All right, effect and character spacing. Now, to change the spacing between text and characters. How do we change the spacing between text and characters? Text and characters. All right, so now first you go to your home tab, font group, and then there's a, a, a drop down menu. Home tab, font group. Then there's a drop down menu. Okay. I want to create space between, let me show you. I want to change the spacing between text or characters. Okay, so now my word is already typed. So I have typed in some information on my word document, but now I want to change the spacing between my text or characters. I want to change the spacing between the text how do I change the spacing between text? Okay. To change spacing between the text or characters, I want to change the space between this text, right? So here, can you see the spacing, how it looks like? I want to change the space, how the spaces between the text or space between the characters looks. I want to change it, right? So to change the space between characters, what do you do? You go to your home tab, home tab, remember for spacing, for changing space between characters, you go to your home tab. The home tab, there's a group. So this is our tab, home tab. There's a group called font. Font, there's a drop down menu. Click on the arrow and you will see this. Remember, we want to change the space between can you see the space between the text? So this space is, remember we, when you are typing in information, you press the space bar to create space. Can you see how small the spaces are? Can you see those spaces? They are normal spaces. Then now you want to change the spaces. It depends, maybe sometimes you are typing something that requires you to change the space. Yes, you, you have pressed the space bar to create space. Now you feel like the spaces are too small. You want something that is different from the normal view. All right, so to change the spaces between the text or between characters, you go to your home tab. Home tab, you'll see font, the font group. The font group, you'll see a drop-down uh, menu. 
click on that arrow, then you will see this menu, which says font. So now you want to change the spacing between the words, between the text, between the characters. How do you do that? Now, there's no option for me to change the space here. I can see font style, font size, uh, the type of font, the color, uh, underline style and everything. But now I want space. I want to change the space between text. So I must, let me go to advanced. Advanced, I'm looking for space. Can you see character spacing? Character spacing? Yes, character spacing. Now I want to change the spacing between the text, between the characters. The spacing, I want to change the spacing. Spacing, now it's on normal. Now I want it to be expanded. Click on OK. Can you see the difference? Home tab, the phone group. So normal, you change to expand it. Can you see the spacing has changed? The space between characters has now changed. Can you see? So the first one was, it was normal. Can you see the space between text, the space between these characters, I mean, between the text? Can you see how small the spaces were? Now we changed the spacing. To change the spacing of uh, the text, spacing between characters. Okay, we went to the home tab, the uh, font group, then there's a drop down uh, menu. We, it took us to the font, uh, how to change the font, but then now we, want, we don't want to change the font. We want something that, which is uh, spacing. So spacing, I don't want it to be normal. I want it to be expanded. So if in a test or an exam, you are told to change the spacing of your text to expand it, I think you now know. Go to your home tab, font uh, group, and then, in your phone, drop down menu, advanced, that's where you click. Then you look for spacing. Spacing, it is on normal. If it's on expanded and you are required to change it back to normal, you know what to do. You click on the drop down list and then you select normal. After you have done that, you click on OK. Then done. So mine is changed to expanded. If they tell you to change uh, this, the spacing between your text or between characters to change it to condensed or something different to normal maybe you can choose from the drop down list and say oh, okay can you see the difference yes now let's move to our next one anything are we still together hi elizabeth Hello. Hi, Mandla. Who's lying now? Stolo. Stolo is still here. Okay. Thank you so much, guys, for joining. Today, we are practicing how to create spaces between text and paragraphs and also text alignment. And yeah, I hope you enjoy, guys. Right. So now let's move to our next one. So we have practiced how to create space between text or characters. We know how to uh, change your spacing to expand it or condense under spacing in the advanced tab. So we know how to change the spacing between text or spacing between characters. I think we now know. Okay, so now we want to practice how to change space between paragraphs. Space between paragraphs. Now we have, I have my two paragraphs. Okay. The okay, two paragraphs.
Okay, just a minute. Okay, just uh, I've shared the document with you guys. Please open the document so we can be on the same thing. We can practice together. Download the document. Can you see the document? Please tell me after you have done downloading the document. Download and open the document. Okay, so now to change Pythino, to change um, the space, the spacing between these two paragraphs, right? So, All right. Hi, Tino. Please download um, the document I shared, the document with you guys. Please download and open the document. Download and open the document. It's not yet. Okay. Can you see it now, Tino? Manda, can you download the document on your chest? Tino, are you able? Okay, so to create space between paragraphs, to create space between paragraphs, um, this is what you do. Let me see. Chase. Still. Manja. Okay, if you can't download the document, just create or open any Word document that you have on your computer because we are just practicing how to create spaces between characters and spaces between paragraphs. Open any Word document that has information or has paragraphs in it. Okay, so to create Let's wait for Tino. Tino, please open any way document. Right, so to create space, to change the spacing in your word document, 
this is what you need to do you can okay click on the layout tab the layout tab the layout tab go to and open the paragraph dialog box on the home tab you can open the paragraph um, dialog box by if you want to open the sorry the paragraph dialog box click on that error the error the error next to the paragraph group layout tab then paragraph you see spacing spacing in the paragraph group spacing Okay, so paragraph to change the spacing, just adjust the paragraph spacing by increasing or decreasing the points. Now, how to decrease and increase those points? What do I mean by that? Now, to change the space, so wait, when you are typing something, and you want to begin a new paragraph. Let's say I was typing this information. So this was my last line on this paragraph. Now I want to create a new paragraph in this document. To create a new paragraph or to move to the next paragraph, I just press the Enter key. Enter key once, then you paste, I mean, sorry, you type or you do whatever. You type in the next uh, paragraph. Now, these are two paragraphs, but now I want to change the space between these two paragraphs. So I want to change how it looks. how it looks, how my, do my document looks, how the space between the two, paragraph, two paragraphs look. So the space, to change the space, you need to go to your, your layout, your page layout, or you go to your layout, layout tab, layout tab, and then, there's, can you see this increase, decrease space? Now, on this one, you are increasing space or decreasing space before the paragraph. So these are my two paragraphs. This is where my first paragraph starts. I want to change the space between, um, before, like the space before this paragraph. So the space between this paragraph, can you see at first how small the space is? How the space, the space looks like? Can you see the space before this paragraph? I want to change the space before this paragraph. To change the space before, I just increase on the before. Can you see before? On this point, I click on the arrow that's facing upwards to, to increase the space before this paragraph. So for me to increase the space before this paragraph also, remember this is my second paragraph, to increase the space before this paragraph, that means I'm changing the space, how it looks on, can you see the space before this paragraph? So I want to change how this looks like. Okay, so to change how the space looks like, I can go to before before this paragraph and um, 
increase. Can you see? It changes, changes the size, changes. So the space is now, is now increased. Now I'm decreasing the space before this paragraph. Can you see it? Okay. Now to change, if you want to say, you can also say change space after this paragraph. Change space after this paragraph. So after this paragraph, this is my first paragraph. This is where the first paragraph ends. To change the space, I just go to after. After this paragraph, I increase the space. To decrease the space, this is where I can go. Just use your, just use your, 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 your mind. Do I want to increase the space before this paragraph? Or do I want to increase the space after this paragraph? Can't click on after this paragraph and expect, um, can't say click, uh, change space after this paragraph. Can you see the cursor is placed after the paragraph? Now you are clicking on before paragraph. It only changes the space before the paragraph, but if you want to change the space after this paragraph, if your cursor is here, you want to change the space after this paragraph, you must look for after. After is increase and decrease. Increase, I increase the space, right? Thank you. Now let's move to our next uh, example. Okay, now the line spacing. Remember, at first we changed the space between characters, between characters. Now we also changed the space between paragraphs. Now we want to change the space between lines. The space between lines. Space between lines. Okay. Space between, at first we changed the space between characters, then the space between paragraphs. Now we want the space between lines. Can you see this is line one? This is the second line, third and fourth line. Now we want to change the space between these lines. To change the space between the lines, the space between lines, Go to your home tab, click on home tab, then line spacing, home tab, line spacing, uh, the line spacing, and line spacing in the paragraph group. Then select one for c uh, single spacing and two for double spacing. All right. To change, the size to change spacing between lines. Say so you go to your home tab, home tab, home tab. In the paragraph group, we have line and paragraph spacing. Okay, so we have, remember to change spacing. To change spacing, Okay, so our time is up. Oh, yeah, sorry guys, our time is up. But to change, let me quickly look at this changing of, you know what guys, in our lesson next time when we meet, we will practice how to change spacing between the lines. So we will continue how to change spacing between lines. So, okay, so this is it for our lesson. So our lesson, today's lesson ends with uh, line spacing. So tomorrow we will continue on how line spacing works. Right, so we, we have practiced how to create space between paragraphs, 
how to create space between characters, to change space between characters and paragraphs. So tomorrow we will look at line spacing, how to change spacing between lines. Right. So yeah, guys, thank you uh, for joining. Okay, so thank you. Thank you for joining uh, this lesson and I hope to see you tomorrow. So please make sure that tomorrow you join. Tomorrow, one o'clock. Okay, guys, so thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye.